I was walking on the beach this morning and seeing their little lifesavers practicing. It's always a beautiful scene to see them jumping into the water, following the guidance of the trainers. Today, what stood up for me was a girl. I think she was about eight years old or maybe seven. I'm not sure. She went out of the water and you could see by the way she huffed and puffed that she really put a lot of effort. Her trainer, which that was who was a very young um, young man, was start starting to play with her or to tease her, and she stayed very stern. She did not respond to his teasing, and I could see that she's trying to get back to her center thinking what to do. There was one thing which stood out for me. She was not trying to please him or she was not trying to be nice to him. So she was really struggling or working towards becoming centered. And I just stood there a little bit far um, watching, thinking to myself that if she, if she needs some energetical support, I would be there for her. At some point, this young boy the trainer felt uh, frustrated that she's not playing with him or she's not responding or she's not playing the same game. So he went towards her and he was actually like pushing her a little bit, all in a nice way. Nice way. She looked at him and she tried to avoid him, but that actually made his uh, efforts even more, um, even stronger. And he, I could see that he's not going to give up. And I was thinking, what am I going to do and how to do it? At some point, she looked at him and she said, I don't want to smile to you and I don't want to play this game. Let go of me, let me be. And she said it in such an, uh, such a um, grown-up tone. She was so sincere. The words, the energy that came from her, and um, the tone of her voice. At the end, she looked at me for just for a little glance, and she smiled, and I smiled back to her. And he looked at me. He did not smile, but I could see that he understands. And then I nodded to him, he nodded to me, and off the went. And this thing really stayed with me for the rest of the day. I was thinking about me at this age. No, I was not doing uh, life saving at a young age. But I was thinking of me and wondering how would I do? What would I do? I don't think I would have the courage that she had. And I'm not referring to something um, really, really bad has happened here, but it was the beginning of something. It was something in the attitude. And she was brave enough, courageous enough to stand up for herself. And if I knew her mother, I would say to her mother, well done, Joe Mama, for raising a daughter who knows she's got rights. And I have a prayer to all other children and girls to be able to stand for themselves at any age, at this way. And I wish that teachers, young teachers, young trainers would be trained more, would be more um, educated about the rights and the psychology of children and how really to handle everyone around them. Because the fact that you are a trainer, even if it's a sport trainer, does not mean, or a coach, maybe it's called coach, does not mean that you have power over the child, even on a subtle level.